Hey everybody, this is John from DroidDog.com. I had intended to make a screencast tutorial on rooting the Evo 4G and installing the nightly build of CyanogenMod 6.0. Um, and I tried to do this yesterday, and I worked on it for hours and hours, but things didn't work out just right. Um, being a Mac user, the only way I could use Simple Root is running Windows in a virtual machine, and I ran into a lot of issues with that. So I decided to go ahead and go with the unrevoked method, which uh, you know works great on many phones. However, I stepped into the picture at just the wrong moment. Um, they had just released a new solution for Evos that had already received the over-the-air update. And this solution, unfortunately, did not take care of NAND unlocking. Not like I really understand what that is, but it uh, kept me from being able to flash CyanogenMod ROMs. Anyway, long story short, I've got uh, CyanogenMod, not the final version, but a nightly build of 6.0 running on my Evo. So I thought we should take a look at it. I'm starting from a fresh boot here, just so you can see the entire boot sequence. Now this should by no means be considered any kind of review of CyanogenMod. First of all, this is not the final release of CM6 for the Evo. Um, secondly, I don't know half of what's going on in this room. I know far less than half. And uh, I will miss a lot of features on this quick walkthrough here. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like on the Evo. Now I have done some customizations here, I've been running it for a little while, so I've changed for instance the uh, notifications bar from white with rounded corners to uh, black with square corners, blue clock, and we'll get to that in a second. First I'll just show you through the screen real quick. Screens here. So this is ADW Launcher, which uh, gives you a lot more options than the uh, vanilla Android Froyo Launcher does. Uh, you can see it looks a little bit different, the color and the icons there. Home screen tips, and every time you add a widget it asks you how large you want it to be. They can be stretched. And uh, this has helpful tips on using the user interface as well as some uh, inside jokes from the team of people who work on this. Now, I should show you before I forget here, oops, and I just hit the search button at the same time. Didn't mean to do that. That you have uh, landscape mode everywhere no, no matter what screen you're on and that's nice and different widgets handle it differently for instance the power control is stretched out along the top of the screen there and I'm just gonna go through these features as I, I remember them uh, one thing about the power control and I'm not even sure um, if this is a feature in Froyo now or not because it's been a while since I've used it this I, I believe this is just a, cyan a cyanogen mod thing uh, but I could be wrong where you have four toggle settings here for the brightness you have automatic brightness dim bright oh, I'm sorry that's automatic very dark dim bright and what you see here is a render effects widget. Now, right now I have it set up so if I tap it, it just renders the screen in all red, which would save me battery, at least that's the idea. Um, but you can use other colors as well, whether it's uh, to make it more pleasant to use in bed or maybe you like to text in the movie theater and you don't want to irritate everybody around you. Um, you add the cyanogen mod render effect widget and you can choose here which color you want it to use. So I'm going to choose uh, salmon. Add the widget. Say how big do you want it to be? I'm going to go two by two. Let's see what that looks like. Now there's salmon. You can see that the real colors are still there. But And actually I don't know how well that one's even turning up on the, the video camera. But um, it gives it this tinge. Let's try another one. And you can also just go through these colors in the settings which we'll get to in a second. But I wanted to show you the widget. Fuchsia. Okay, so we have the fuchsia one here, and we have the salmon one here, so you can have several of these set up all at once. So let's go ahead and get into these settings. Uh, I'm not sure if I missed anything.
any of my little reminders from the home screen here. I do have a battery percentage showing in the battery. You can change the color of that. You can change the color of the clock. You can change the color of the bar, color of notifications. Very customizable. Once you go into the settings, ADW Launcher is where you're going to get into some, uh, you got several levels deep on some of these options here to really customize the way the, uh, the interface works, how many icons you have across, how the app drawer works, do you want six icons, do you want four, do you want it animated, do you want it to go horizontally, do you want it to go vertically, um, there's all kinds of stuff in here and I'm not going to try to grab them all. But you can change your screen count and all of that. Now down near the bottom here you have Cyanogen mod settings. User interface, one of my favorite ones just because I'm into that kind of stuff. Here's the render effect where you can toggle through different colors. I kind of like that one. Like an old timey piece of uh, super technology. Okay, maybe not, whatever. Salmon, that one's kind of nice, I think. Status bar tweaks, battery percentage, battery percentage color. That's what I changed right there. Show the clock, the clock color. Do you want AM, PM? Show DBM and the DBM color. I wouldn't uh, even know what to do with that, so why have it? Um, the date color, I think, yeah, this was set to black, and I don't want that. I'm going to set it to... Tap the color in the middle. See right now that date up there is black. And now after a reboot, take a second here. The date up there is gray. And if you have music playing, and then lock your screen, you can have lock screen music controls right here by KMobs. But those, at least in this version, are not on by default. You need to go into your settings, Cyanogen Mod settings, input settings, and check the box next to lock screen music controls. Now it would take me just way too long to go through all of these settings, um, and I couldn't give you a, an excellent demonstration of, of what their primary benefits are for all of them. Uh, Carlos Graves is much more the Cyanogen Mod expert over at Droid Dog, so be sure to watch his video. He did a review of Cyanogen Mod 6 on his Nexus 1. But I just wanted to show you what was in here. You've got all kinds of uh, performance tweaks. If you don't like the way things are operating on the phone, it does have JIT enabled. This is Froyo. Um, actually, change the accelerometer. I'll just show you real quick. Android version 2.2. You can change the background of the app drawer. I chose a transparent blue. I know I'm missing all kinds of stuff here. Um, just a quick overview. It comes with uh, ROM Manager. Um, allows you to flash different recoveries, either Clockwork or the RAW RA recovery. Spare parts, dev tools. Get that uh, set up. If you just go to configure, Color scheme, yeah, sexy nexus. Or no, it was. Uh, I think sexy nexus has like some some more pink in it. Cyanogen mod is the cyan colored one. Background cyanogen mod, and you can see what this looks like when you first launch it. No, that's not it. Background's wrong. That's not quite it either, but that's closer to what you're going to see the first time you launch it. And they have their little helpful Android tips guy here with customized Cyanogen mod stuff that's pretty funny. Uh, so I know people are wondering, I'll go ahead and run Quadrant Standard, skip through the tests here and just show you the results. But just a reminder, this is a nightly build. This isn't even the public release of Cyanogen mod 6 for the Evo. And it's uh, pretty amazing. Um, YMAX does not work on this yet. And uh, there are a couple other things, I think that aren't quite working. Um, I haven't really spent any time in the camera yet. Um, but there you go. All right. That's good enough for now. So there we are up at the top, second only to the Nexus One. Now it would be interesting to see what happens when we have all these other phones popping up with Froyo. But uh, again, this is just 
one of their nightly builds. This isn't really you know, considered a release version at all. 